This is Smart Pizza, and in today's hour-long episode, I'll show you many amazing moments when animals have come to people for help. You'll see people rescue a giant killer whale and a whale shark, pull an elephant out of a hole, help horses during a flood, and rescue a bear and the bear cubs. In addition, I'll show you how animals rescue people from dangerous situations. There will also be a few moments of mutual aid between animals in this episode that will definitely impress you. Have a seat, relax, and enjoy the video. Have you often had to help a cat that lives in your home? Maybe your pet was getting into the wrong place and you had to get it out of there. Or maybe your pet got tangled up in something. Generally speaking, there's nothing surprising about helping a domestic cat, but what about helping a very large and dangerous cat? This video was shot in India. We see a leopard that's trapped. It's stuck with its head in a canister. Apparently, the predator was so thirsty that it jumped on the first available can of water and was so carried away that it almost got there itself. The poor fellow couldn't get out by its own. By some miracle, it blindly made its way to the village and, as best as it could, began to ask people for help. They had to act quickly as the leopard was about to suffocate. The locals called the vets who decided to put the cat to sleep so that the rescue operation could be successful. So they did. They injected sedative into the leopard, removed the canister, and took the still sleeping predator far away from the village, where it soon regained consciousness. Squirrel. What is an animal to do if it cannot find water in the wild? If you ask me, there are two options. Either keep looking until the end or ask a human for help. This enterprising squirrel chose the second option and became an internet star. The footage was filmed a couple of years ago in India by a forest service employee. The clever squirrel found humans, saw their bottle of water, and began to stand on its hind legs, begging for water. It's amazing that it knew it was the water bottle in the man's hand and that it thought of such a thing in the first place. The squirrel got some water, the guy gave it to the animal, and the bottle was drained to the bottom though a lot of water was spilled on the ground. Although the video is amazing, it reveals a not very good point. It's a shame that the animal lives in conditions where there's no way for it to find clean water. Dolphin Everyone's seen videos and pictures of whales being washed ashore and stranded there. What about a dolphin stranded on the shore? There is such a thing. Last year, a man named Leon became a hero when he helped rescue a dolphin stranded on the shore in Helston, UK. It's surprising that the dolphin was there at all because the nearest sea is as much as five kilometers from the place where Leon met the two-meter-long creature. The dolphin looked disoriented and exhausted. It was obviously lost and just rolled over from side to side trying to get some help. Leon named his new acquaintance Oscar and called a marine rescue service. The volunteers put Oscar on a stretcher. All the time on the way, they watered him with water from a bucket so that the animal's skin wouldn't dry out. Specialists told them that the area where Oscar got stuck was dangerous for dolphins and that it wasn't the only animal that ended up here. Fortunately, it was lucky. Soon, Oscar returned home to the sea where it could swim on its own. It's touching when large animals ask people for help themselves, but it's even more touching when baby animals or their mothers ask for help. Stay tuned to see these incredible moments and find out how the rescue of a killer whale and a big shark ended. Young Deer when a North Carolina woman named Amber went out for a morning run, she never imagined she'd capture some of the most unusual footage of her life. As Amber was jogging, a baby deer ran out to her, yelping as if to let her know it was in trouble. The fawn started rubbing up against Amber and could barely stand on its feet. It felt like it was only a few days old. Amber knew that the female deer often left their babies alone when they went out in search of food, so she assumed the mother would return to the fawn soon. Amber left the fawn and went home. However, she couldn't calm down at home because she was sure she'd done the wrong thing not taking the fawn with her. So Amber went looking for the fawn and, with the help of her son, found it. The female still wasn't around. It was clear that the baby had been orphaned. Amber took the little hungry fawn home where she fed and warmed it. The fawn spent the night at Amber and her son's house, and the next morning it was taken to the animal center. There, the baby, named Scout, grew stronger and made friends. Baby Elephant All mothers are the same. Whether we're talking about human mothers or animal mothers, they all want the same thing – for their child to be safe. But there are always problems in the animal world. This mother elephant came to humans for help 
It was trumpeting and howling. It obviously wasn't feeling good. But why? The elephant mother took the people to some hole in which the baby had fallen. The baby elephant was gradually drowning in the swamp and couldn't get out on its own. It was deep and the walls were slipping too much. It's hard to imagine what its mother was going through in these moments, but the ending to this story is a good one. Rescuers with an excavator were called to the scene. They freed the elephant from captivity and the pair of creatures with the trunks reunited. Foal. The man was walking along the road when he noticed a horse acting strangely near an old wooden bridge. As soon as the man got closer, he realized that the foal was stuck in the planks on the bridge. Its thin hooves had fallen through the planks. There were no other options. The foal had to be rescued immediately. The man had no tools with him, so he tried to lift the foal over the planks and push it to the bridge. The first attempt was unsuccessful as the planks were worn down and threatened to fail, but the man soon succeeded in rescuing the foal. He took the foal in his arms and carried it to safety where its mother joined it. Killer Whale Orcas are formidable predators and huge monsters that fear no one at sea. Not without reason, they're called killer whales because they really hunt huge whales, not in the least bit afraid of them. But sometimes even such killers need help. The orca got so carried away by hunting that it jumped out of the water and landed straight on the sharp rocks. The predator got stuck and couldn't get out on its own. This in itself is terrible, but the orca was also without water and risked suffocating. Time passed, the killer whale lay there and tried to get help as best it could. It was only thanks to the occasional passing person that it was rescued. Hugh Lorette was walking along the shore when he heard strange noises. He came closer and saw a panic-stricken killer whale. There was no way it could get out of the stone captivity. He rushed to the orca for help, and within minutes the volunteers gathered at the orca. They poured water on the poor creature, giving it a chance to survive until the rescuers arrived. The rescue team arrived after 11 hours, but luckily all ended well. The rescue operation was successful. The careless killer whale was rescued from the trouble and released into the wild. Yes! Oh my god! Bird. Some animals get stuck in rocks, while others get stuck on metal. The bird in the following video is one of those. Nelson Wilson heard the bird chirping and knew it was in trouble. When he approached it up close, he realized that the bird was flapping and trying to take off, but it wasn't able to do so. Its legs were frozen to the metal structure, and it was being held hostage. The feathered creature had no chance of saving itself, but luckily Nelson was not indifferent. At first, the man didn't know what to do and didn't understand how to help the bird so as not to harm it, and then he decided to pull a simple but ingenious trick. The man gently pressed the bird against his palm and began blowing warm air on its legs to melt the ice. He kept doing this, and after a while, the bird was able to move. Soon the feathered creature was free. That's how an ordinary passerby saved an animal in distress. Would you have helped the bird if you were Nelson? Shark it's been said that large animals are characterized by calmness. The following video confirms this. In this footage, taken by fishermen off the coast of Sydney, we see a whale shark swimming casually toward a boat. Although the whale shark is the largest fish in the world, it's not predatory and is quite harmless to humans. But the fishermen were still a little scared. However, they quickly came to their senses when they saw the thick rope wrapped around the body of the giant. Apparently, the whale shark swam to the people on purpose, realizing that it couldn't get out of the trap by itself. Of course, the fishermen couldn't leave the shark in distress and helped it. They pulled it closer to the boat and then carefully cut the rope, freeing the shark. The shark didn't twitch, waited until it was helped, and when the rope was removed, it swam away from the fishermen. Told you that big animals are very calm. Elephant The elephant is the largest land animal on the planet. It would seem that this giant doesn't need help and can cope with any difficulties by itself, but it can't. This footage shows an elephant from Zimbabwe after encountering poachers. They put a bullet in its forehead, but luckily the elephant survived. The bullet lodged in its skull, causing no harm. Nevertheless, with time the wound would get worse. Plus, walking with a bullet in the head is not very comfortable. So the elephant made the right decision. It asked people for help. 
The rangers, to whom the elephant came, understood what was wrong and called a team of vets on the spot. They sedated the giant with a dart and assessed the wound. Although it was superficial, it was already festering, so the vets decided to act immediately. With effort, they removed the bullet from the skull, then disinfected and stitched the wound. The vets waited until the elephant woke up to make sure the animal was okay. After recovering from the anesthesia, the elephant was soon pacing. Fortunately, everything turned out fine. The giant was even given the nickname Pretty Boy. And now it's looked after by gamekeepers, who do everything to ensure that their ward does not fall into the hands of poachers again. Cow One sunny day, a man named Dave was walking through the green meadows of Ontario, Canada, enjoying the sight of cows grazing. The man decided to take a picture of them and walk closer. Suddenly, he saw that the cows were worried about something. One of them was standing by the fence, mooing loudly and turning its head. Dave looked closely and saw that its calf was on the other side of the energized fence, stuck and unable to get back up. Realizing exactly what was bothering the little cow, Dave set about rescuing the baby. He did it without much trouble. Soon the cub was extracted from the trap and brought back to its mother. Dave was heartened that the cow was able to trust him and ask for help. Dave also said that he visited the farm several more times after the incident, and each time he made sure that the cow remembered him and was grateful to him. It came up to Dave and looked into its rescuer's eyes. Bear Bears are curious creatures. They're big fans of unexpected visits, but who likes that kind of guest, right? A few years ago, a bear entered the home of an American family in Florida. Rescue workers were called to the scene and were unable to frighten the bear away by ordinary means, so they decided to tranquilize it. The shot of the tranquilizer made the bear panic and run to the sea, perhaps to escape on the water. Unfortunately for it, the tranquilizer began to work right in the sea. The bear could have drowned at any moment, but it stood there with the last of its strength, showing that it needed help. To its delight, Adam Warwick, a biologist with the Wildlife Conservation Commission, rushed to swim and save the animal. Adam made an incredible effort to keep the 180-kilo body afloat. He wrapped his arms around the bear, preventing the animal from going under. Soon, a boat came up to the drowning and the animal was pulled ashore. All ended well. After examination, the specialists returned the bear to its natural habitat. A similar incident happened to another animal from this episode. But if that bear wandered into the sea on its own, the next animal was caught unprepared by the powerful elements. Stay tuned to find out how everything ended and to see other amazing moments of animals asking humans for help. Horse Natural disasters affect not only people but also animals. And if people can still evacuate and move to another place, animals as a rule are caught unprepared. Many of them are literally trapped. That's what happened to many animals in Texas when Hurricane Harvey swept over the state in August 2017. The flooding flooded many areas of the state and caused massive damage. Horses were especially unlucky as they stood in locked pens and risked drowning. It was only a matter of minutes, but luckily the horses managed to get the attention of concerned people who freed them from their death trap. Look at this horse jumping out to freedom in a hurry. It was very lucky. It was its lucky day. Dog Dogs are extremely loyal creatures that are willing to do anything for humans. But sometimes people have to bail out dogs, too. A few years ago, this scene was captured on the street of an Indian city. Passers-by stumbled upon a dog that was standing in the middle of the street, howling desperately, trying to attract attention. As they got closer, people saw a puppy lying next to it. The puppy was injured and needed help. Indifferent passers-by contacted the local animal rescue center, and volunteers soon arrived on the spot. The dog was very worried but still allowed one of the volunteers to come up to its puppy and examine it. The puppy was not feeling well. When the volunteer took it in its arms, it began to cry in pain. The mother dog was crying along with it. Poor baby had to be rescued immediately, so the volunteers didn't hesitate. Fortunately, the story had a good ending. The puppy was treated and fed at the center and then returned to its mother. Little Fox Little creatures are especially curious because they're learning about the world. But in the case of animals, this curiosity can sometimes lead to bad consequences. For example, this little fox got its head stuck in a jar. Couldn't get it off, the hole was too narrow. It had to go to people for help. To its delight, it came across some hunters near the forest. They were surprised to see a little fox coming to them for help, and they helped it out. The trap was quickly neutralized, and the little fox finally breathed in and ran back into the woods to continue exploring the world. Monkeys 
In the wild, animals get their own food and water, but sometimes they don't have that option and have to suffer from thirst. These monkeys were in just such a situation. The hikers were on a hike when they came upon these primates. One of them ran up to the hiker and started grabbing a bottle of water that was sticking out of his backpack. At first, the hikers thought the monkey just liked the bottle, but then they realized it needed to drink urgently. The request was granted, and the monkey quenched its thirst. And here's another primate suffering from thirst. But regular water is not what it wants. Apparently, life in the zoo has relaxed this chimpanzee, so now it wants something tastier, for example, a soda. The chimp was pointing at a bag of food and drink from one of the female visitors, asking her to pass it the goodies. When the woman got the soda, the chimp moved a few meters away and pointed to a hole in the wall through which the woman began to pour the drink. Now you know that primates like soda just as much as we do. Crow Here comes another creature suffering from thirst and heat. On a hot summer day, this crow couldn't find any water. There were no ponds or pools nearby. What to do in such a situation? Ask people for help, of course. The clever crow saw people with bottles of water, flew over to them, and begged for water. At first, people didn't understand what the crow demanded from them, or they didn't know the best way to give it water, but in the end, one of those present realized to pour water into the lid. This satisfied the crow, and it gladly quenched its thirst. It's amazing how intelligent these birds are. By the way, crows have a very good memory. They remember people by their faces. So this black beauty certainly remembered its saviors. Maybe the crow will help them somehow later. Cat The winter is come and street animals are hiding in warm cars at increasing frequency. This is especially true of cat, which regularly climb on the wheels or hide under the hood. Be careful and make sure that your car doesn't have some fluffy cat clinging to it, an innocent life will be saved, as in this case. This kitten climbed under the engine and got stuck behind the radiator enclosure. Luckily, its mom was nearby and immediately went looking for humans. Luckily, the kitten wasn't big. An indifferent passerby rescued it without much trouble. As soon as the kitten was free, the mother cat took it in its teeth and rushed to its other babies, which were already waiting for it in the trash can. Duck Ducks have one big problem. Their ducklings often fall through sewers and storm drains while roaming around the city. And no wonder, such babies can fall into even the tiniest hole. That happened to this duck's babies. As the author of this video told us, the duck came up to him, started quacking intensely, and led the way to the storm drain. Quacking was heard from there, too. The cameraman immediately understood everything and called the rescue team on the spot. They rescued the babies of the grieving duck. They took off the lattice, lowered the ladder, went down themselves, and got all the ducklings to the surface. None of them suffered much, and the duck family was soon reunited. Panda when animals ask people for help, it doesn't always mean they're in danger or that their lives are in danger. Pandas are a great example of this. These creatures are some of the cutest on the entire planet. They chew bamboo, roll in the grass, roll on the ground, and climb trees all day long. But here's the problem. Not all pandas can jump out of a tree. Some just plummet to the ground, breaking branches beneath them. And some ask people for help. This panda showed that it had to get down from the tree. A reserve staff member walked up to the panda, it hugged him by the neck like a baby, and the staff member lowered it to the ground. It sounds like the cutest video in the whole episode to me. Have you ever rescued an animal? Let everyone know in the comments. Next, I'll show you some amazing moments when people have rescued a wolf, a shark, and a cobra. Wolf The wolf is one of the most dangerous animals in the world. As a powerful predator, the wolf can finish off many animals and even pounce on humans if it feels threatened. But sometimes even such an apex predator has to ask for help. And who should it ask for it if not an intelligent human? This footage shows a lonely wolf. It has a serious wound on its head. The wolf is hungry and exhausted. Either it fought off the pack or it was in trouble with a serious rival. Either way, it realized that it had to seek help immediately. It smelled fresh pastries in the woman's bag and came to her. The woman realized that the wolf was not going to attack. The wolf cautiously approached the rescuer and waited. When the woman threw the animal a bun, the wolf carefully took it and, stepping aside, ate it. Realizing that it could trust the woman, the animal took the next bun directly from her hand. We don't know how exactly it ended, but most likely the wolf, having refreshed itself, quietly left, remembering its savior forever. Cobra The king cobra is the largest venomous snake in the world. Reaching up to 5 or even 6 meters in length, 
it can easily pounce on a person and bite them deadly if they cause it harm or discomfort. However, in some cases, the king cobra has no desire to harm the person, but on the contrary, asks them for help. Several years ago in India, where these snakes mainly inhabit, there was an unusual case. The king cobra was exhausted because of the hot weather and was very thirsty. Generally, snakes rarely approach humans, but this cobra crawled into the village to ask for help. The locals were frightened at first, but then decided to help it, realizing that the animal was not going to do any harm. One man took the cobra by the tail and another gently gave it water from a bottle. The cobra was then taken to a special animal care facility. I'm sure the snake remembered its rescuers. The marine environment can be devastating for terrestrial animals, especially if these animals are trapped in the water and being hunted. Take a look at this footage. That little dot approaching the boat is a squirrel. As it turned out, it was being hunted. Eagles, crows, and gulls were nearby and tried to share the light prey caught in the water. When the squirrel saw the boat, it immediately swam towards it with its last ounce of strength. The sailors, realizing what was going on, decided to help the squirrel. They lowered a net into the water and the squirrel climbed up it. Notice how desperately and quickly it climbs. You can see that it's scared to death. After climbing to the top, the squirrel jumped into the boat and was safe. You can see from the footage that it's happy to be in safe hands. Even though the squirrel was soaked, frightened, and exhausted, it didn't resist in any way and let the sailors take hold of it. Well, after several minutes, the sailors docked at the shore and let the squirrel back to its native habitat. It even thanked them by wagging its tail a couple of times. And while I'm talking about water rescues, why not talk about sea animals rescues? Stay tuned to see how a diver saved a shark from injury learn about a fox's clever tactics, and see an interesting sloth rescue that ended up a cool ride. Let's move on. Shark In 2017, diving instructor Ben Johnson was diving off the Cayman Islands. While filming underwater, he saw a shark. At first, Ben was frightened, but he soon saw a 30-centimeter knife sticking out of the shark's head. As can be seen by the behavior of the shark, it showed that it needed emergency assistance. It circled, swam closer to the diver, and turned around, demonstrating the weapon. Leaving the shark in danger would have been inhumane and wrong, so Ben swam up to it and carefully took the knife out of the animal's head, after which it swam on its shark business. It's interesting that the shark didn't attack Ben because it was obviously stabbed by a human so it could rightfully take revenge, but the animal turned out to be grateful. It's still unknown exactly who stabbed the shark in the head, but we know that the shark's all right. A few days later, Johnson saw it alive and healthy near the same reef. The wound had completely healed by then. Turtle Next, we have another sea creature which asked a man for help. The diver caught this interesting episode on camera. The sea turtle swam right up to him and did it as casually as if they had met every day. It was as if the sea turtle told the diver that it had something stuck in its shell and that made it uncomfortable. In fact, even if the animal could talk, no words would have been necessary. It was self-explanatory. The diver understood everything at once and rescued the sea creature. He pulled a piece of reef from the shell and after a few seconds, the sea turtle thanked its rescuer by tilting its head. Ray, another sea creature that asked humans for help. In July 2019, a female manta ray, also known as a giant sea devil, swam up to a group of people off the northwest coast of Australia. It was clearly asking for help because it got a fishing hook in its eye. Apparently, it couldn't get it out on its own. Snorkelers recognized this female. It was freckles, which often swam in coastal waters. Of course, they couldn't not help an old friend. One of the snorkelers, underwater photographer Jake Wilton, said freckles began to approach and then turned around to show people its injured eye. According to eyewitnesses, the manta ray didn't move while Wilton dived several times trying to get the hook out of its eye. As a result, the hook was successfully removed. It's a good thing it ended that way because experts say that if people hadn't come to rescue Freckles, she might have gone blind and even died. Sloth During a boat trip, this group of tourists found a sloth in the water. In general, many species of sloths are excellent swimmers. They can move even faster in the water than on land. But this individual had clearly swum too far. The sloth overestimated its power, was exhausted, and could not get to shore on its own. So it asked the tourists for help. 
They didn't help to get it on board. They offered it to climb on the oar. When the sloth was hooked, the tourist set off and headed for the shore. Judging by the expression on the sloth's face, it liked the rescue operation and the trip. It was obvious that it was enjoying this ride. You betcha, that day it experienced the highest speed in its life because these animals' maximum speed is only 4 kilometers per hour. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. As it approached the port, the sloth waved to people in the British Queen style. And a few seconds later, the tourist dropped it off in the thicket, after which it was safe. Fox Some animals come to ask for help from people without knowing them at all, and some deliberately turn to people with whom they already have established contact. The fox from this video is in the latter category. The author of the video had been feeding this fox regularly at the same spot for over a year. One day, he decided to feed it again, but the animal surprisingly refused to eat. Instead, the fox grabbed the dainty and gave the man a sign to follow it. From time to time, the fox even stopped and turned around to make sure the man was following it. As it soon turned out, the fox had recently become a mother. It's brought the man so he could get acquainted with its cubs. But what does this have to do with help? Look, the fox showed the man a hole, thereby killing two birds with one stone. Now it would not have to leave its cubs, putting them in danger to run away for food, and the author of this video can bring food directly to the hole. I think it's genius and tricky, just in the fox's style. As a rule, fishermen catch fish out of the water, which makes sense. Sometimes some trash or scrap metal might get caught in the net, and sometimes a couple of bear cubs might get caught. While fishing, the fishermen spotted a couple of cubs in the water. Cubs were wading through the river, but because they were small and inexperienced, they couldn't handle the current and began to drown. When they saw the fishermen, the cubs began to paddle toward them, and the fishermen rushed to their aid. They hooked the cubs with their nets and headed to shore. The cubs were quiet and didn't resist, because they knew they didn't need to do it. I hope the cubs have learned their lesson and won't go into the river again until they grow up, and the mother bear will have to take educational measures. It has to take its cubs from where they were left by fishermen to scold them and teach them to swim. It'll definitely come in handy in the future. Young deer. Particularly frail animals are the most endangered, so if they get into trouble, they often ask for help. Sometimes they even ask people for help. This young deer was trapped, it stuck in the mud near a construction site or some quarry and was unable to get out on its own. I'm sure it thought that no one and nothing else could help it, but luckily a man lent it a helping hand. Or more precisely, a helping digging bucket. A worker drove up to the deer by an excavator, extending the digging bucket and began to lift the animal along with the dirt. Notice that the worker did it very carefully and tries hard not to hurt the already frightened animal. After driving a few meters, the worker lowered the digging bucket and unloaded the young deer on the hard and dry ground. When the deer felt the ground beneath it, it was finally able to push off and get out of the trap, and then ran away. Well, we've looked at how people help animals, so now let's find out how animals help us. Our furry friends genuinely care about us and are willing to put themselves at serious risk to protect their owners. It's worth seeing. From the dog that stopped a robbery and the nanny cats to the dogs that fought a cougar and a cobra. Next, I'll show you some incredible moments when animals have defended their owners. Robbery The episode took place in 2015 at a gas station in the United States. An armed criminal wanted to rob a gas station attendant. He chose the wrong day for it just that for that shift, the guy took his dangerous watchdog with him. The dog, upon sensing trouble, began to protect its owner. Of course, no robbery took place. The guy said the dog got so wound up he had to calm it down for a long time. Nothing's really scary with defenders like that. Cougar The cougar is a very dangerous animal. It's a ruthless predator feared by humans and many animals, but not by these brave ones. These dogs saw a cougar sneaking into their owner's living area. The cougar was prowling around looking for food and could potentially sneak into the house where the dog's owner was. The dogs prevented the cat from doing that. They surrounded the cougar, 
horse it out of the yard and began to push it out of the property. They soon gained the upper hand and the cat escaped. Here again we see the teamwork of dogs against a dangerous enemy. This time it's a cobra. In this footage, taken in the Philippines, two Dachshunds, Miley and Moxie, bravely confront the cobra's attempts to enter the house. The brave dogs know their owners, including their one-year-old son, are inside. The dogs take turns attacking the venomous snake from different sides, but it desperately resists. In the end, the Dachshunds gain the upper hand. In this fierce fight, they manage to finish off the reptile. But the battle came at a price. Unfortunately, Miley received a fatal bite and soon died, while Moxie partially lost its sight. Snake Here's a similar episode. A man was sitting on the veranda of his house, relaxing and staring at his phone. That day could have been his last if not for his faithful dog. It spotted a dangerous snake approaching the man and managed to catch it before it bit him. Fortunately, unlike the previous story, this one ended well. The dog worked carefully, avoided the venomous bite, and the snake soon crawled away. The Guard Never attack a person who's walking with a Rottweiler. The consequences will be something like this. This video, made by friends, shows what a Rottweiler can do to an offender. The bite of these dogs is fierce. The guy can't get away from the Rottweiler. It literally hangs on its arm with his teeth. And now imagine what will happen to the hand, which will not have such a thick protection. All in all, it's not for nothing that Rottweilers are considered one of the best guard dogs in the world. And here's a similar situation. The cameraman filmed a staged video of a girl with a sheepdog allegedly being attacked by the enemy. People know this is all fake, but the sheepdog doesn't. Without a second thought, it rushes to defend its little owner. As soon as a man runs up to the girl, the sheepdog grabs his hand. Fortunately, protection was hidden under the sleeve. Without it, it would not have been without serious injuries. Seizure Dogs are capable of rescuing people not only during an attack by the enemy. This footage demonstrates how dogs can help their owners who are prone to epileptic seizures. The dog lays down under the owner's head and creates a soft pillow to keep the girl from smashing her head. This footage is probably staged, but I'm sure that during a real seizure, this faithful friend will do the same thing and save its owner. Dogs don't just help with seizures. For example, this dog knows exactly what to do when its owner faints due to illness. According to the owner of this dog, the animal's been trained to give therapy. When a girl faints, the dog lies down on her and presses on her chest. Hopefully this helps. Cat versus Dog A stray dog has been accosting a child at the doorstep of his home. The dog is clearly unfriendly. It barks aggressively and is about to attack the boy. Luckily for him, his faithful friend, the cat, was there. When the dog came close to the child, the little fluffy creature jumped out and bravely chased the intruder away. Guardian Sheepdogs are wonderful dogs. The sheepdog is a great guardian, a valiant law officer, and a classy protector. Take a look at how this brave and loyal dog protects a little girl. Whenever the cameraman tries to get close to her, the dog barks aggressively and shows it's ready to fight for the little girl to the bitter end. With such a guardian, this baby is definitely not afraid of anyone. Goose When the goose attacked the man, his dog immediately stepped in. The dog behaved as professionally as possible. Not only did it protect its owner from the intruding bird, but it didn't injure the bird itself. Despite the dog's powerful jaws, the goose's neck remained unharmed. Babysitter A surveillance camera installed at home captured this amazing scene. The babysitter who was left to look after the baby was attacked by the cat. You can see that the babysitter is not hurting the baby and treats him well, but apparently the cat isn't used to her yet or sees the babysitter for the first time at all. It's cool that dogs aren't the only ones capable of defending their owners so faithfully. When an owner is protected by a dog or cat, it's no surprise. But what about some exotic pet? An elephant, for example. These guys are clearly friends. They decided to fool around and play actively in front of the elephant to see its reaction. It wasn't long in coming. The elephant quickly ran up to its owner to help him. By this time, the friend was gone. Imagine what it would be like to have such a giant rushing at you. Didn't let him drown. And here's another staged video. This guy, who looks after elephants, decided to put on a show and pretend that he was drowning and that he couldn't resist the current. In fact, there was nothing wrong or bad with him. 
But the elephant didn't know that. It selflessly rushed to save its owner, ran to him and set its trunk as a support. Everyone was happy. The elephant had done its duty and the guy once again was convinced of the loyalty of his pets. Tiger and Leopard Zookeeper Eduardo Serio played with his big cats. Eduardo spent time with the white lions, oblivious of the fact that there were other dangerous cats behind him, including a leopard named Dharma. All of a sudden, the beast sprinted towards its owner, but then the tiger, Atslan, came to his aid. It rushed across and knocked the leopard down, protecting its owner. It's possible, of course, that Dharma was running to play, not to attack, but who knows what these big, dangerous animals have in their heads. All in all, Atslan did the right thing. Better safe than sorry. Bodyguards When you withdraw money at an ATM late at night, you don't feel very safe, do you? To make it easier, you can take pepper spray, ask your friends to walk with you to the ATM, or bring an army of four-legged bodyguards. With these guys, you can easily withdraw from the card a few thousand dollars. Security's guaranteed. Herd They say one in the field, but without shield. I don't know. Not in the case of dogs. At least this dog is a real warrior that doesn't care how many opponents it has. While outdoors surrounded by cows, a guy recorded a video of his faithful dog defending him from a herd of cattle. The dog clearly controls the distance and pounces on any cow that dares to get close to the guy. Newborn This family is having a real celebration. They have a new addition to the family, a very tiny baby boy lying in the stroller. The parents now have a lot of new worries, but the cat has a lot of worries as well. Now the fluffy creature has to protect its owner. As you can see, the cat does a great job. It doesn't let anyone get close to the baby. And this cat protects an older child, and yet this girl is still very little. She needs to be taken care of. The cat's always around, always crouching next to the girl so that if anything happens, she won't fall on the solid floor. Oven Young children are very curious and are always eager to explore everything, including home appliances that are dangerous to them. This little one is interested in the oven. He doesn't know yet that it's better not to open the door because it can be very hot inside. The cat's already more experienced and knows this. The fluffy creature doesn't let the baby open the oven and shields him from any danger. The Hero Dog Last March, an unpleasant incident occurred in Canada. Haley Moore fainted on the side of the road while walking with her pet named Clover. Clover couldn't bring its owner to its senses on its own, so it made a wise decision. It jumped out onto the road and blocked the path of a truck, showing the driver that it needed help. The driver stopped, paid attention to the dog, got out and gave Haley some help. Clover then enlisted the help of another passerby and ran home to bring Haley's relatives. When Moore's parents ran to her, paramedics were already on the scene. It's safe to say that Clover didn't just protect Haley, but saved her. A real hero. It's amazing what animals can do sometimes. A monkey can bring back to consciousness its congener that's received an electric shock. And whales and dolphins don't hesitate to help animals of another species in trouble at sea. Stay tuned and I'll show you how animals have saved the lives of other animals that were doomed. Crow We're used to thinking of bears as very ferocious predators ready to finish off almost any animal that gets in their way, especially if we're talking about a small animal that doesn't pose a threat to a bear. But as it turns out, bears are no strangers to compassion. A few years ago, a bear in the Budapest Zoo showed it. It was sitting by the pond when a crow got into it. The bird got wet, its feathers became heavy, and it couldn't get out on its own. Realizing that the crow might not survive, the bear pulled it out with its paw and teeth. At first, it seemed to the zoo staff and guests that the bear would devour the easy prey that had fallen into its pond, but no. The bear just turned away and continued to eat the apples and carrots scattered around as if nothing had happened. The crow apparently realized that the bear wasn't going to harm it, rested a bit, gained strength, and flew away. This, however, is not on the video. Monkeys Monkeys are very intelligent animals. They can understand a lot of things that happen in the world. Among other things, they understand perfectly well if their congeners are in trouble and need to be rescued. The residents of the Indian city of Kanpur witnessed one such unusual rescue in 2014. 
a monkey was running around the railroad, hit the wire, got a powerful shock, lost consciousness, and fell directly onto the railroad tracks. Upon seeing this, other monkeys immediately rushed to help, and one of the primates immediately began to save the poor fellow. He began to pull the monkey and beat it, trying to bring it to its senses. He then dragged the victim off the railroad tracks and plunged it into a ditch with water. The life-saving operation lasted about 20 minutes. Visitors to the station witnessed it. Fortunately, it all ended well. CPR was successful, and soon the injured monkey regained consciousness. The locals supported it with shouts and applause. Baby Goat Many people think that pigs are very stupid animals that do nothing but roll around in mud all day, eat all kinds of trash, and grunt. This is only partly true. Despite this lifestyle, pigs are very intelligent animals that are not strangers to compassion and understand if someone needs help. A few years ago, a video appeared on the internet with a drowning baby goat. It fell into a pond in a zoo and could not get out without help. There was nothing the zoo's visitors could do. They could only watch the heartbreaking scene. To the surprise of many, a pig soon jumped into the pond. The pig quickly swam up to the poor baby, actively pushed it toward the shore, and helped it get out of the water. Once on solid, dry land, the little goat ran to its mother, while the heroic pig continued to dig in the ground and go about its piggy business. Whales Killer whales are very intelligent and organized animals. They often hunt in groups, ambushing seals lying on ice floes. This footage shows just such a hunting scenario. A few killer whales are circling around the ice floe, on which the seal is resting, and are rocking the ice floe trying to throw the poor seal into the sea. If it happens, the seal's dead. It can only count on the fact that the killer whales will get tired and stop hunting. But no, they were determined and wanted to get their lunch by all means. Fortunately for the seal, there were two humpback whales nearby. One of them hooked the seal. The seal sat on its back and was safe. This was filmed from another camera, which was very close to the place of the action. It's not without reason that many scientists call whales superheroes of the ocean, because they often come to the aid of those in need. Dogs are incredibly intelligent creatures that have often saved people's lives, but these four-legged creatures can also save other creatures, like fish. How exactly? See for yourself. A few years ago, this video was posted on the internet showing a dog trying to save a fish that had been stranded on her. Out of the water Golden retrievers have a good memory and instincts that allow them to work well both on land and in the water where they can find a downed game. Sometimes, however, it's not the game that the retriever can pull out of the water but rather a drowning creature. Mark Freely from Connecticut was out with his dogs Sarah and Storm in the Long Island Sound for a walk a few years back. At some point, Storm jumped into the water. At first, Mark didn't know what was wrong but then he saw Storm heading toward the drowning deer. Good boy, Storm, bring him in! The brave retriever picked up the fawn, pulled it out of the water, and brought it to shore. It didn't end there. While Mark called the vets, Storm licked and nudged the fawn, trying to bring it to its senses. Both Storm and Sarah didn't leave the poor fawn until the vets arrived. Fortunately, thanks to Storm's efforts, the fawn survived and recovered very quickly, and the dog became a hero of social networks. The video with the rescue of a drowning fawn was watched by many users. Dolphin Rescues Whales Few people know that even young and healthy whales can be accidentally thrown ashore, but returning to the ocean will still be no easy task for them. When two sperm whales were found thrown ashore on a beach in New Zealand, a crowd of people immediately gathered around and did their best to help the giants. But two hours had passed and all efforts were still in vain. The ocean waves kept throwing the whales back to the shore. When the people were ready to give up, a local hero, a dolphin named Moko, appeared by the shore. Residents of the coast knew Moko very well. It was not afraid of people and often came to see them. Moko also seemed to know very well how to solve the problem with the whales. The dolphin swam as close as possible to the whales and froze for a few moments. Later, eyewitnesses said that they were absolutely sure the dolphin said something to the whales. Of course, the motivating speech was inaccessible to human hearing. However, after it, the apathy of the whales was miraculously replaced by hope. The first attempt to push the whales into the ocean was successful, and the trio disappeared safely into the ocean depths. Many people consider baboons to be some of the stupidest animals in Africa. In fact, when these primates are interested in protecting or defending their territory, 
they become highly organized and dangerous foes, which even large predators are afraid of. But are baboons capable of showing compassion to other species? See for yourself. This footage shows a cheetah chasing an antelope. The predator had already caught up with its prey, but suddenly a large group of baboons intervened and the predator had to retreat. Using their numerical advantage, the baboons surrounded the hissing cheetah and drove it away from the hunting ground. Surprisingly, several of the primates even approached to see if the antelope is all right. Of course, it's hard to be okay after a cheetah attack, but the wounds don't appear to be too serious. After a few minutes, the antelope gets up and walks away, still surrounded by a pack of baboons. The Lioness Saves the Wildebeest This story can safely be considered the most amazing in this episode. The lion and the wildebeest are eternal rivals, the predator and the prey, two creatures that simply cannot live peacefully in the same territory. But not this time. The lioness goes hunting, but instead of a whole herd, it finds a single wildebeest baby. Its instincts tell it to immediately grab its prey, but the lioness hesitates and then changes its mind. For some time, it stands by the baby as if soothing and stroking it. The most striking thing happens next when another lioness tries to attack the cub. Our savior rushes to it and protects the cub. Could it have been just a cunning move so that the second lioness didn't get anything? Well, anything can happen in the wild, but I like the story of mercy. Hippos save herbivores. Everyone is afraid of crocodiles. Well, except for hippos. If they decide that the reptiles are trespassing on their territory, in an attempt to protect their territory, hippos often help herbivores to avoid capture. More often than not, they do this unintentionally, simply driving predators away from their borders and thus giving the trapped prey a chance. The footage shows several crocodiles surrounding a wildebeest and trying to drag it under the water. They almost succeed, but in the heat of the action, they get too close to a group of hippos. The giants have no patience for the troublemakers and immediately pounce on the crocodiles, forcing them to retreat. They pay no attention to the wildebeest. Having skipped through a herd of hippos, the herbivore was able to get safely to the shore and retreat. And here's another clip. This time, the hippos spoil the crocodile's hunt for zebra. But hippos don't eat zebras and crocodiles are quite far from the water. All of this suggests that crocodiles may not be guilty of trespassing. Either we have to admit that hippos are no strangers to mercy, or they're just really pissed off by crocodiles. More likely, it's both. Taking care of the cubs There are many species in the animal world that have weakened or no maternal instinct at all, but elephants are not one of them. Every time a cub gets in trouble, half the herd rushes to its rescue. In the wild, elephants love water, but it's hard for the young ones to get used to it. See how quickly the adults rush to help the baby elephant, which begins to drown in a rough stream. And here's a video from the zoo showing two elephants running to the elephant that's fallen into the pool. The next scene is much more dynamic. The baby elephant is lying on the ground and clearly can't get up on its own. The herd gathered around tries to help it, but the situation is much more complicated because the group frozen on the spot has already been spotted by lions. But no one is going to leave the elephant to its fate. The strongest and most powerful members of the herd form a living barrier between the congeners and the predators which continues to stand until the elephant can be lifted and led away to a safe distance. The Best Shepherds When we think of animal shepherds, we usually think of a large breed of dog, but Australian farmers are of a different opinion. They believe there are no better shepherds in the world than donkeys. Farmers in Queensland faced a serious problem when they were attacked by packs of wild dogs. Predators were not only killing sheep, they were spreading disease that were dangerous for the livestock. Shepherd dogs proved ineffective in matters of protection. Perhaps the reason was that wild dogs are essentially a hybrid of dingoes and common domestic dogs. Protecting sheep from close relatives was not easy for them. Desperate farmers tried many kinds of animals as protectors, but only donkeys were unexpectedly effective. It seems that these creatures have a genetic hatred of dogs. As soon as they spotted a wild dog, they would attack with fierce shrieks, and soon the frightened dog would retreat from the territory. With the arrival of the unusual shepherds, the farmers began to sleep peacefully again. The Dog Save the Dog Since childhood, we've been taught to be careful on the road because a car may appear out of nowhere. People know that, but do dogs know that? I don't think so. In this footage, taken in an icy yard in a northern region of Russia, we see a small puppy out for a walk. 
wagging its tail and slipping awkwardly through the ice. It can't see that behind it, a blue car is backing up and about to hit it. There's nothing to blame the driver for. It's very hard to see such a little dog. A trouble almost happened, but luckily the puppy's mother was there. The dog saw the danger, quickly ran to the puppy across the yard and managed to grab it and get out from under the wheels and then dragged it away from the danger zone. The Smart Pedestrian Award rightfully goes to this nameless black and white mutt that demonstrated excellent knowledge of the driving regulations. Lizards and a Snake In this video, shot in Cambodia, we see two geckos and a snake. According to the author of the video, the lizards were just resting when suddenly a green snake jumped on one of them. The reptile immediately performed its trick, starting to coil around its victim. The video shows the snake strangling the gecko more and more with each passing second. The second gecko was at first just watching the fight. Either it was shocked or it was confident in its friend and gave it time to deal with the snake on its own. Either way, it soon became clear that help was required. Then the second gecko rushed to save its friend and attacked the snake several times. That was enough. The reptile immediately loosened its grip. It's safe to say that this is an amazing example of nobility and courage in the animal world. The Chick and the Monkey Monkeys are very intelligent animals that understand very well when someone needs help. Let's see that again by watching this video, taken a few years ago in a British zoo. A thoughtful orangutan spotted a chick drowning in a zoo pond. The bird couldn't get out on its own, and then the primate decided to save it. The monkey gave the chick a leaf to cling to, but after hanging on the leaf for a second, the chick plummeted back into the water. At the last moment, the orangutan managed to pull the chick out of the pool using the leaf as a scoop. The rescue operation went well. The orangutan then dutifully carried the chick to the center of the enclosure, set it down on the grass, and gently stroked it. That's a cute and cool video. Hippos and Antelope Although hippos are very large and dangerous animals, they're not strangers to compassion. They regularly come to the aid of those in need, and this is another proof of that. The antelope either waded across the river or decided to cool off a bit. Either way, a crocodile was already wading under the water and grabbed the herbivore in a jiffy. A hippo, which was nearby, immediately rushed to the rescue. Soon, another giant pulled up to the scene. Together, they chased the crocodile away and freed the antelope from its deadly grip. When the antelope was free, it immediately rushed to the shore and one of the hippos gentlemanly escorted it, making sure that no crocodile would disturb it. Hippo and Lion Hippos rescue many animals all over Africa, from antelopes to zebras. But of course, more often than not, they save and protect their own relatives. This footage shows just such a case. Look at this little hippo. It's not afraid to confront the king of the jungle. It has an adult lion against it. But the little hippo is not afraid and chases the lion, not letting it get close. But why does the little guy do it all? It turns out it was saving its wounded mother that was lying nearby. At one point, the baby hippo came right up to its mother and had no intention of retreating. The lion accepted defeat and didn't attack the female. Apparently, in this way, the king of the jungle showed respect for the brave little hippo. Rat, Monkey, and Snake Rats are disliked by many. These creatures spread all kinds of infections, steal food, and simply cause a lot of trouble. But in the animal world, sometimes you have to forget that when it comes to life and death. In this footage, we see a snake that's crawled into monkey territory. As it turns out, there were rats lying there as well. At least one of them was definitely there, and it was the one that got to the reptile. The snake began to eat the rat, and it seemed that the end of the rodent was imminent. But one of the monkeys didn't like it very much. It decided to save the rat, and it succeeded. The male made a sharp jerk and plucked the rodent from the jaws of the reptile, and then rushed to carry the rat to safety. I wonder what happened to the snake afterwards. Did the male come back and teach it a lesson? Or did the reptile realize its mistake and manage to crawl away? What do you think? Monkeys and Wild Dogs Warthogs are some of the most numerous animals in Africa. In fact, they're large, wild boars. Does that mean they should have no natural enemies? Not at all. Warthogs are hunted by many African animals, and especially often they're hunted by wild dogs and hyenas. Fortunately for warthogs, baboons and even gorillas often come to their aid. They swoop down as a troop on the wild dogs and fight them off from the warthogs. See it for yourself. Hyena and Warthog 
once again we have the warthog. In this footage, taken in South Africa's Kruger National Park, we can see a leopard attacking a wild boar. The predator had approached the burrow the warthog was occupying. Although they were almost the same size, the big cat managed to nail the squealing and lashing animal to the ground. The tourist nearby thought it was all over for the warthog, but suddenly a hyena appeared out of the thicket and ran at it screeching. The leopard spotted the competitor, left its prey alone and roared. The warthog took advantage of this, broke free and escaped. That's how the hyena saved the African wild boar. However, it's possible that it'll soon track down the warthog and attack it with its congeners. But now we know that if anything happens, the warthog can be helped by primates, right? Well, that's it for today. Which moment from this episode impressed you the most? Let me know in the comments. Thanks a lot for watching.